What's up guys, this is Crypto with James talking to you today about Sela Network. Um, this is an interoperability uh, protocol effectively. They, they are looking at making it a one-stop place for all of your sort of decentralized needs. Um, and they really streamline it for DAP development. <clears throat> right now, 78 million market cap. Um, and I think this is one that can uh, really grow uh, given that they've already got um, some key partnerships announced and a bridge that's processing huge volume. I uh, also want to take a look at some of the biggest gainers today. The uh, market seems to be reacting very, very nicely um, since sort of Friday of last week. So we'll take a look at what's uh, performing well in this video too before I get into it though. Guys, if you are new to this channel, these are the first 26 coins that I spoke about when I made this channel. They're also ones I owned when I made the channel. Um, had you invested like a hundred bucks, just a hundred into each of these coins and then done everything wrong as an investor for two straight years, just ignored them, uh, sat on them, went to work, lived your life and then just looked at your portfolio today. Um, had you done all of that, the $100 into each would have still put you in profit for 8K. So that's profit. But if you'd sold these coins last year when the markets absolutely rocketed up, and this is what I did, then the $100 into each could have netted you a profit of 123 grand. Big, big, big difference. Now, as I said, sold all these off. These are not the coins I own anymore. If you want to see my current portfolio, you can. You can go to copymycrypto.com. There I share my portfolio. I give my members real-time updates anytime I buy or sell a coin. Um, we have had, we've got uh, videos released on a daily basis about the markets. We've got tutorials set up. These are step-by-step -step so anyone can get started because we've got thousands of members and a ton of them have never invested in anything. And then on top of that, guys, we have a history of success on the channel and on the site. You know, not least of which is obviously Phantom. Phantom was the, was, my number one pick uh, for the previous bull cycle. I said in 2020, this would be the best investment of the year. Did a Udemy course titled that. Uh, had you put in 100 bucks, you could have made 67 grand. Grand would have made you 677 grand. And two grand would have netted you 1.3 million. Now, I'll find another phantom. I'm always on the lookout. I'm always researching. I'm always diving into coins. And when I find the next phantom, I'm not going to do a Udemy course like last time. I'm simply going to go onto my site. I'm going to tell my members about the coin. I'm going to tell them the gains I think it can have. And I'm going to tell them the percentage of my money that I'm putting in. And they can copy along. They can make the same gains. And if that interests you and you don't want to keep doing your research, keep doing all that thinking and all that deep diving, you can literally just go onto the site and copy along. Um, and remember, anything you read on the site, you can verify on the history of the channel. Uh, so Sela. Guys, Sela Network. Price of 1.1 cents, gonna have 10 billion supply. Currently got 7 billion, so 70, just shy of 71% um, currently out. Now, again, so Sela uh, is all about blockchain interoperability. It's a protocol that's basically a one click, one, one stop shop for your sort of DeFi, GameFi, NFTs, governance, all of that. And it's been set up so that dApps can be developed um, and built into uh, the chain using Sela's interchain messaging framework. And this gains, uh, allows the dApps to gain access to efficient li uh, liquidity utilization and uh, coherent application logic and shared states. Now, users of the Sela enabled dApps can enjoy the multi blockchain eco. And that's the big upside because it's all from a single chain even though you can play around with all the blockchains around it's all from a single chain so that's quite bloody cool to be fair because they've simplified the process massively um as for seabridge i think seabridge uh that's just sealer's bridge that has processed nearly 12 billion transactions or a little over 12 billion transactions 12 billion dollars worth of transactions now so sealer uh, absolutely rocketing. Um, they've run on uh, delegated proof of stake. So you pick your 
you pick who you want to delegate your your tokens to and they'll stake it for you and you'll get a percentage back and they'll take a little off the top. Um, now, Sela has been created by uh, four PhDs from uh, MIT and UC Berkeley and Princeton. So they're all looking pretty, you know, they've all got uh, good profiles in terms of their tech knowledge, in terms of the computer science. A lot of them have worked in big uh, high tech, pro uh, high, high profile tech companies as well, um, which obviously is a good sign. Sela has also been integrated uh, with uh, the Polkadot ecosystem now. Uh, and generally, you know, it's looking pretty strong. They're, it's all built on, uh, they've got a ton of substrate um, development as well. They have Arrington and Pantera as backers, uh, which is not a surprise. And as I said, multi-chain, you know, you're on your Ethereum, your Binance, your Moonbeam, your Oasis. It's looking damn good, right? Um, and if you can check out the um, the Sela network, you can see that uh, they they've really pushed forward with the multi blockchain uh, system that they've got in place. And obviously now utilize with integrating uh, Polkadot, Binance, uh, Ethereum, Oasis. You know, they're, they're really starting to strengthen the overall uh, utility of the Sela token as well, because anyone that utilizes the platform, the Sela token is the thing that fuels the uh, payments. Now, one thing that they don't have, which I would like to see, is they don't have any sort of uh, incentivization protocols. Now, this is always something that I, I speak about this pretty much every video to some degree. Um, but you need to have um, an incentivization plan for developers because there, you know, we we don't actually have an unlist like an unlimited amount of developers. So fundamentally, you do want to give as many developers as possible a reason to come and uh, utilize your system. Um, so Sela could do with getting that up and running because that currently isn't present. Um, but when that is up and running, that will look, well, if, if, I should say if, if that does end up up and running, that would be really, really, really positive for um, Sela. Uh, they have a layer 2 dot finance, which is one of their products, along with obviously C-Bridge, uh, which is the Sela network bridge, and their state guardian network. Um, so this is basically where you can uh, stake your Sela. So you would pick who you want to de delegate it to. You can see what commissions they'll take. And then from there, you will earn rewards on oh, as much as you want to take, basically. Uh, but the big, bigger news that happened, it was updated about a month ago, is um, Sela are working with Circle. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Circle is the person that issues USDC. Circle is that massive, massive company worth billions and billions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. Um, and they made an announcement regarding a cross-train transfer protocol. And uh, Sealer's Seabridge has already taken the first steps by integrating the new protocol and is supporting USDC transfers across their testnet, uh, across the Go Goalie testnet and the Avalanche testnet. Um, obviously, this is uh, positive news for the space in terms of... Um, allowing developers to send and transact in USDC natively across multiple different blockchains. This allows USDC to be moved from one ecosystem to another, uh, which effectively maximizes the uh, capital potential of USDC. Um, obviously, that's another pos a big piece of positive news for um, both Circle and Sela, to be fair, Sela jumped on very, very fast and have already uh, semi-integrated that. So a little bit of work left, but looking strong, looking strong. Um, in terms of uh, their blog, they keep updating this as well. You know, they've talked about um, the, the launch of Petty, which is uh, their omni-chain liquidity protocol. Um, so again, you know, combine, that combined with the many, many partnerships that they keep 
adding to. You know, sila and arbitrum, sila and sai. Um, you've got optimism, rebates. You've got aptos mainnet. You've got um, zk sync. Um, the support of zk sync for uh, bridging. Milka Media A ones roll up to enable cross chain bridging, and that's it. Sealers, you know, the the bridge protocol of Sealer, like I said, has done enormous volume. I mean, they, I, I think it was twelve billion. Uh, it was an announcement somewhere. Celebrates eleven and a half billion in Sea Bridge transactions, and that was about a month ago. So it was probably are uh, above twelve billion now. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, they they really they really. Put their foot on the gas in terms of pushing and um, they do have a bug bounty or uh, like a standing two million dollar bug bounty um to encourage um white hat efforts in improving the network but there's still a lot of, like they still don't have um just a, just a grants program set up so growing that ecosystem is going to take time but they have so far, obviously, initi uh, initiated their their uh, interchain messaging protocol with so many bridges that that and along with sorry with so many uh, blockchains and then combine that with the bridge that they already have and things are looking really strong for Sela. But now, the next step really for Sela is to get up and running um, regarding. Uh, a real growth in their DeFi community. That's sort of what we're missing now um, for Sealer. So we would really want to see some strong growth in DeFi and GameFi. And if we do start seeing that, and we start seeing seeing the Sealer um, ecosystem grow, we start seeing that there is even more utility for the sealer network than there already was and things start looking really damn strong um really really strong so there's your sealer bridge by the way um so this allows you to bridge any asset across um across across to pretty much any network you know supporting a ton of tokens as well and as you can see really simple really straightforward so that's Ethereum to BNB. You can do Ethereum to any of these. Uh, they really have grown and started pushing. And the bridge themselves, like I've said, look, Sealer's bridge is one of the most utilized in the space. And bridging is going to be something that occurs immensely over the next uh, few years. I do think they've got um, to offer some additional products around DeFi that they're just not offering right now. And I think if they start doing that, they've got real potential to grow. Now, what can Sela do? Well, that is the question. I mean, in terms of its all-time high, we saw it ramp up to around just shy of 18 cents or thereabouts, 18 cents. Uh, and right now it's one cent, 1.1 1 .1 cents. So what can it do? I mean, I would be surprised if Sela doesn't get back to a billion dollar market cap over the next uh, bull cycle. And I think with how cheap Sealer is right now, it's quite a bargain. Combine that with the fact that you can just delegate it away and just ignore it for a, a couple of years and let, just let your uh, earnings build up. Sealer might not be a bad shout as a long-term hold. Uh, and it really only needs to hit about 15 cents to have a billion dollar market cap, um, which should be relatively achievable. Um, the question is, can they do more? Now, I would make the argument that if they are, if the bridge continues being so heavily used uh, and they really do add a, a series of DeFi products that are exciting and earning people yield or giving people an, a way to earn additional money, um, I made the argument that this can easily, easily hit a billion, two billion, three billion. You know, um, I would conservatively say two billion can be can be hit, which is about you know thirty cents, give or take. I think that's very achievable. Um, but if they don't grow the DeFi 
and another bridge takes over? No. So I'll conservatively go with 20 cents because I do think it will break its previous high. Sila have been developing, they have grown to an immense degree in terms of that multi-chain sol uh, solution on a single chain, which I really like. Uh, it is the one-stop shop for people if they want DeFi solutions, but they need to have better DeFi products available to them. Um, but maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll stick with 20 cents for now, but I think this could do more. Um, and that bridge, those bridge statistics are outstanding. Like they can't be ignored. $12 billion in basically a year. It's probably the most successful bridge around at the moment, or certainly in the upper echelon, shall we say. But what do you guys think? Do you think the bridge alone is enough to, uh, along with the bull cycle, to rally it? Or do you think it needs to add to that uh, network to really grow? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are a returning viewer hit, and you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit it. The videos make you money. They can also save you money. Do not miss them. So hit that subscribe button. And before we get into the big gainers of the day, Guys, if you want to see the coins that I own, you can go to copymycrypto.com. The link is above me and there's a clickable one in the description. On the site, I share my portfolio. I give real-time updates anytime I buy or sell a coin. Um, every, there's videos on a daily basis. There's tutorials set up for beginners and there's a huge history of success. Um, and if you want to see uh, my holdings, go to the site. Remember, everything on that site, by the way, you can verify on the YouTube channel's history. And look, I found Phantom in 2020. I, um, I can happily say no other crypto YouTuber found it because no one was talking about it in 2020. I talked about it before the bull cycle kicked off or before it really started. And when I find the next Phantom, I will go onto my site and I'll tell my members about it. I'll tell them what gains I think it can have. I'll tell them what percent of my money I'm putting in and they can copy and make the same profits. And if that interests you and you want to take uh, all the research time and the thinking out of it for yourself, you can go to the site and, uh, and join me there and copy along. Um, link is in the description. And last thing, uh, let's see, biggest gains of the day. So we've seen some significant gains across uh, the crypto market over the past uh, 24 hours or so. Um, yeah, so Bitcoin obviously added to you know, the overall markets had some steady positive day, but Gala went up 54% uh, or so uh, in the last 24 hours after announcing partnerships with The Rock and Mark Wahlberg and then move into sort of mobile gaming. Um, Zillica rose by like 47%. Zillica have uh, several upcoming, uh, upcoming developments, including forays into esports and Ethereum virtual machine compatible money market protocols. Also worth bearing in mind as well, Zillica are building a console, uh, which will, will be the first of its kind in terms of crypto gaming. Uh, Nervos Network went up nearly 30%. Um, Solana grew 22% roughly. Um, and the Solana meme coin uh, ecosystem has been flooded with meme coins, including Bonk, which has led to a surge in activity. Um, Anchor was the other one that's had a big, big, well, a good, good day in terms of growth. Uh, Anchor is one I've spoken about as well a number of times. I like Anchor. Um, and then there's a few that have lost. But overall, you know, when we look at the crypto market right now, it's pretty much a sea of green. So it was a real nice change from what we've had for the past year. Um, don't, we'll see how long it lasts, but yeah. Um, but I will also point out Metaverse game, uh, Metaverse cryptos have had a really good run as well. It does seem like there is a surge in, well, a surge in Metaverse and gaming based cryptos over the past week, well, over the past sort of 24 to 48 hours. Um, maybe we are about to have another wave of crypto gaming, but let's see. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Take it easy.